Sometimes when we have a WordPress website and we run news or any articles or we, we just want to update our customers on new things, new posts, new products, for example, we can use something that's called a news ticker. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you one example out of many that you can use on your website. So without further ado, let's get started. So when you are in your WP admin dashboard, let's get over to plugins, add new, and let's head over to our search box and type HT mega let's install this ht mega absolute add-ons for elementor and activate it now we'll be prompting us with new recommendations now you can skip this one because we don't need it what we do need is head over to settings under ht mega add-ons and right over here let's go to elements and over here you have a ton of other elements and if you want to i can make a full review on this plugin just leave it down in the comment section below but what we are more interested in is the news ticker so what you want to do is hit Control f or command f if you're on mac and let's type news ticker and we can see this is already activated by default so we don't need to do anything else over here let's head over to our pages and let's go to the z index page that we have done tutorial about on our that i have done tutorial about it and my channel if you want to see this one it will be popping up right now on the screen in the right or left corner of the screen right now and let's edit it with elementor now i want to see how or where i'm going to put this news ticker so for me personally I'll be posting it or using it in the top section. So let's hit the plus icon and right over here, I'm going to putting it on top of the hero section or the first section of the homepage of the interior design. Let's go to this left section and scroll down until we see the news ticker. It would be looking just exactly like this. It would be some of a megaphone, whatever it's called. It's a news ticker. So you just drag and drop it over here in the box. So right out of the box, you have a few options of designing it. You have style one, which is something like this with an arrows. In total, you have seven designs, but you can style it to a different way. It can be like white, and just black arrows with blue when you're hovering them. You have the style three, which is like this, just a more round corner and the arrows are over here and it's changing. I think it's the same way, but I I think I'm missing personally and I've seen it on other plugins like Element Pack. And if you're watching it in the future, I have a tutorial on it on the channel and you can head over and see it right now. It's gonna be popping up in the right or left hand corner of your screen right now. So this is for this one it has an outline and arrows on the left instead of the right and we have style 4 which is just a solid one just square one and it's very simple you can see it's almost the same every time but only design it changes slightly all right let's go to style 5 you see here the arrows are just not in the box they're just one next to another and you have the style 6 and also it just removes the arrows and you have only the heading, which is gonna be changing on and on and on. And style seven, the last one would be also with arrows and you can see they're pretty much looking like each other. You can add a label icon. Let's, um, I don't know, let's hit this bell icon and insert this one and it, did nothing. I think I figured out why we can't see the bell or the bell icon because we don't have a label. Excuse me for that. And we have the ticker label. So let's put it like news. All right. And now we have our icon and we have all these things. Now we have the icon, now we have the label and we have a little style for our label. The same thing applies to our different styles. Let's say we have a style two. Now we have a different label over here and we have style three, also a different label. It jumps right over to the right corner and we have style four, same thing right over here. And style five, we have it with a little Kevron or an arrow that goes out of it. And we have style six, which is slightly bent, I think you can say. And we have style seven, which is this way, just a little rounded corner like that. I think I like it this way. I'll be using this one. All right, now we have our row height. We can change our row height, for example, to 100. And you can see it's much, much bigger. The element grew a little bit, but no, let's return to 50. And we can see it's a little more slim and I think it's good. Maximum row, we have one row. You can set it to two rows, three, four, and so forth, if you wish to. 
let's return to one. You have speed animation. Usually I like making it like a little more smooth, you can say. So I'm usually putting it in 1500 milliseconds. You can see it would be much, much smoother and much more I think pleasant for your human eye. And we have an animation duration, it will be five seconds. And we have a direction, we have up or down, which I think it's, you can say it's good. I mean, it's good that they did that. But one thing is missing for me that it goes from right corner to the other. And I think the element pack or other plugins does that. And I think it's a little bit better for my own personal opinion. But if it suits you, you have this one right out of the bat. We have an option to include the date. You just switch it on and you have the date. You can also change it in the style tab. So you have that too. You can pause on hover, for example, if someone is hovering his mouse and it just stops. And once he removes that, it will go away or count that seconds or milliseconds and it will go or switch to another one. Now we have more options. Now we have the content option. Now we can choose which one you want it to include. For example, you have posts or you have taxonomies or different taxonomies if you're using Jet Engine or you're using ACF fields or SCF taxonomies. So you have all these types of stuff over here. You can change these. For example, you want it to iterate over pages or landing pages or products. You have these options right over here in the post type. You can also include categories or by author or by category, that option you have too. And you can include which categories you want to. I didn't set it up any categories in my shop or my website yet, but you do have that option. You have an option to exclude posts. If you go to your posts, you can also set it to a limit to five posts. You have the ability or the option to set it order by date, by ID, by name, by title, common count, and random. So every time that it will switch to, it would be random. It won't be like a specific order that you've set to. You have a custom date, for example, you want it to be a custom date before or an after date. So for example, you want it between the 1st of January of 2023 up to 5th of May of 2023. And all of these would be iterating over and over. So you had that option too. That's cool. And you have the option to set the order, whether it's going to be descending or ascending and the title length would be 50 characters, or you can set it to be 100. You also have that option to do that. And the navigation button, you can set your own. For example, if you want to upload an SVG of your own arrows, you have the ability to do so, or you can choose it from the icon library that Elementor provides you with. So you have all of these ones if you want to. All right. Let's set it this one. And now you can also style these ones differently. Also, you can set the background. For example, I want to set the background to, uh, let's do not, I think it's a little bit bad. Let, yeah, let's do it a black one and let's set the text right over here in the content to, yeah, let's put it on white. Yeah, I think that's cool. Blue and white text and a red one. I think it's, you can see that again, you can play with it as much as you want to. You can set the typography as usually you would set with any title in Elementor. You can set the padding, for example, to 15 or 10, or for example, to 50. Uh, yeah, to 50, a little bit too much. So let's do 15 and, or you can remove it totally or center it in the, in the center or to the left or to the right, or just justify it. You can also have an option to edit your label. You can also set the colors, typography. Again, you can go over with this. I think they provide you with a lot of things for free and that's cool. Now we have the navigation. Also, you can set the navigation, for example, icon size. We are talking about these arrows. So let's do for the 20, you can see it's a little bit smaller or like 50 again. It's a little bit bigger and I think that's cool. And the icon box height, you can also set it over here, whether it's going to be bigger or smaller, you can also have that option or just remove it totally. It's going to be back to default and you have border type. And also if you go back to the date, you can also set the date over here. And finally, when you're happy with what you have is just update it. And now you know how you can set your own news ticker with a free plugin. Things like that can totally upgrade your website. And I think that's good. And if this video helped you, I'll be really happy if you hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing because I'm posting tutorials and videos every week. And until then, I'll be seeing you in the next one.